please? Yeah. Would you tell Mary Lynn when she comes back that... Tom, I'm sorry. I got so excited by Kevin's news, I didn't mean to forget about you. Oh, I'm just happy we had our little celebration. So am I. But I want you to join in the celebration when the children come home. Oh, I, I don't think that's a very good idea, Vicky. What do you mean? I can't possibly get through Christmas dinner and all those other rituals with Clint unless you're there. Well, I just meant we have to be realistic about this. If I set foot in that house, Clint and I'll go at it again. It'll just spoil it all for you and the children. That's all. But I'm not ready to deal with him. What if he finds out about my, my memory? Well, you're going to have to face him sometime. Yes, I suppose you're right. Can I at least ask you to be thinking of me? I never stop thinking about you. Oh, Tom. Thank you. Thank you for today. For the music box. For everything. It was... I know. It was for me, too. Well, come on, huh? Get out of here. Your family's gonna be home soon. Be all right if I took my music box home with me. Of course, it's yours. Yours to have, to hold, and to play whenever you feel in the mood. Merry Christmas, Vicky. Merry Christmas, Tom. <laughs> takes time to make sure the adrenaline is working. Is this really serious? Well, it isn't exactly life-threatening, but it sure, well, certainly is serious. <laughs> but you know ah, that. Good news. Joey's fine. Oh, thank God. Well, where is he? Can, well, when can I see him? One at a time. He's, all right. Um, I had to give him another shot of adrenaline, so he's a little uh, wired up right now. But he'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be fine tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Larry. No thanks. Thanks for always being there when we... Uh, when we need you. No thanks necessary. Thank you very, very Nurse much. Nurse is with him now. She'll be finished in a few minutes. Oh, thank Dr. Wellen, oh. Dr. Wellen to orthopedics. That must Dr. be me. Wellen. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, thank God he's all right. <sighs> Maybe now you can answer my question. Why didn't you run for the inhaler the minute he started wheezing? And don't tell me that you suddenly forgot that Joey has asthma. No. Oh, I, I didn't uh, forget, no. He was bent over nearly double trying to breathe, and you just stood there. Why? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I got very frightened, and I did whatever I could. <laughs> you called me. It's a good thing you didn't forget my name. I'm sorry, all right? I have been very, very upset lately, and maybe I had a momentary memory loss. Well, I just don't get it, Peggy. We have kept that inhaler in that drawer for years, and you knew where it was. Now, why didn't you get it? What do you think I was trying to do, make it worse? I don't know what you've been trying all to right, do. All right, just stop badgering me now, Clint Buchanan. The child is all right. Badgering you? I will badger you all I have to. Now, Vicki Buchanan would never have let her son suffer like that. And that only proves further to me that when Joey was having his attack, you were Nicky Smith. Now, damn it, admit it. Absolutely not fair. Every time something goes wrong, you dredge up Nicky Smith. That's who you were. Nicky Smith is dead. When Joey was having his attack, you were not the woman I married. I would bet my life on it. I am sick and tired of trying to figure out whether it's Nicky Smith or Vicki Buchanan that I am talking to. Now, you're going to a psychiatrist if I have to take you there. Don't threaten me. I am not threatening you. You, I will take you back to One View Sanitarium if I have to. Oh, no, you will not, Clint Buchanan. And while I'm at it, let me tell you one other thing. If I haven't seen much like the wife you married, you haven't been anything of a husband, have you? Because everything you say to me is wrong. It's not only wrong, it's downright crazy. 
Well, sometimes the truth can be very cruel, but it still has to be faced. I don't even know who you are. Ricky, Clint, Joey's ready to go home. I will get him, thank you. 